Hello everyone and welcome back to our next part in this mini lecture series on optimization for machine learning. What we have seen so far was that we need a learning algorithm that given some data, right, ZI is the input, YI is the output, so we have input output tuples, meaning we are in the supervised learning setting and we would like to find the model function H out of a potential set of hypotheses that minimizes this in-sample loss. So the mapping under our model from input ZI to output YI. And we learned in the previous video that this is a problem that we can parameterize using this set of parameters W. So in a linear model, these Ws are the multipliers in front of the individual entries of ZIs. In the setting of neural networks, these might be the neural network ways and so on. So we see um, the question now of training or yeah, training a model, the, the core of machine learning basically is to solve this minimization problem where we have now Q parameters that we need to find. And so this video is all about, or these next few videos are about gradient descent, a very common technique in machine learning how to do this. And before we dive in, let's first ask ourselves what does it even mean to solve this problem, right? So we need the notion of optimality. And we will see that this is rather easy. Or I mean, you should have heard about this in school, I guess, because there's a very simple and, and well-known principle behind this. But first we get there, what does it mean to, uh, for a specific weight W star to be optimal, right? So let's consider this very simple setting where Q is one. So we have a one-dimensional parameter, this is the curve, and we are clearly trying to find this point W star for which the loss function becomes minimal. Right? And so if we look at this, what it means is really that the loss function of our value W star should be smaller or equal to all other possible weights, so all weights of our parameter space, right? So in this case, this means we can pick, pick any parameter vector. We have not talked about constraints yet. If there were constraints, this would be replaced by some constraint set. So, but what it means is in our optimum W star, the loss function has to be at least as good as in any other solution. All right, so I guess this is rather intuitive, but we also are facing a problem now, because if we want to find W star, this means we need to compare against any other weight. So think of Q being a very high dimensional space, like in machine learning, you have hundreds of weights in neural network, thousands even. Um, so this means you have to sample a 1000 or even not a much higher dimensional space to find the optimum. So it's clearly not a, not a good idea. Right? I mean, if we could do this, it would be a very nice thing because this would mean that we could find a global optimum. Right? Why is it global? Because we are comparing our weight W star against any other weights, really the global optimum. However, we need to compare against all others, which makes it really expensive. And so now let's switch gears a little bit and consider what is the criterion for a point to be a minimizer. Well, and I guess you have seen this in other lectures or also in basically talked about this in school maybe, that what we're really interested in is this point and what is important in this point, I guess you've guessed already, it's the derivative, right? And we see clearly that this derivative is zero at this point. Okay, so this is the loss function or the derivative of the loss function with respect to the weight. And this point, or at the point W star. Okay, so really good. And now let's look at this. What it means is really we are not required to look at all points, but what we are really uh, need to do, which is much better in some sense, um, is to consider points for which the derivative is zero. It's a very good starting point telling us, okay, all points for which the derivative is zero are possible minimizers. Why am I saying possible? Because let's consider this function. I left some space open here. Let's think it goes on like this maybe. And all of a sudden you see, aha, 
there's not a single point that has a derivative zero, but there are actually three now. Uh, this one, which is not even a minimum, and this one, which apparently is another local minimum, or if we look at these three points, it is even a global minimum because apparently it has a lower loss function value. Okay, so we see now the gradient gives us, or the derivative gives us a very good tool to just look locally, right? I'm not, this says, um, if the derivative is zero, then I am clearly in a minimum or a maximum, right? So what this means, it's a necessary condition only. But I guess you've seen this before as well. Um, what you do usually in, in, in scalar optimization is you look at this, or in, in, in single parameter setting, you look at the second derivative. Or for higher dimensions, you look at the Hessian matrix, right? And so this will give you some information about curvature. And only if you can say that you have a curvature like this, you are in the minimum. If you have a curvature of the other sign, you are in the maximum. So this would be then the sufficient condition, again, for a local minimum or maximum. However, um, the good point is now here, we do not have to look at other points. So there's a trade-off to be found. Um, we have a local condition. Which is good and bad at the same time, if you think about it. Um, but really, this helps us to um, make some use out of, of, out of local information. We don't have to look at everything and thereby try to find, um, let's say, iterative procedures to, to locally or to, 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 to converge to such a local minimizer. And so one thing before we stop this first, as I said, very introductory video, um, let's finally consider the situation for Q being greater than one. And there this derivative simply generalizes to the gradient. Okay, so the gradient is the, the nabla symbol with respect to w of the loss function is nothing but a column vector that contains the partial derivatives of the loss function with respect to the individual weights. Okay. So as I said, we start very early on and just now discuss this idea of optimality. We've seen that apparently the derivative or the gradient in higher dimensions is the, one of the key concepts. And in the next videos, we will first of all discuss a little bit how to actually compute this for many machine learning applications or types of models. And then we will get more deeply into the gradient descent and see how we can actually make use of this gradient if we are not already in a minimum um, to find directions where to move. Thank you.